um, one thing I pride myself on is just being the same and, and trying to look out for my folks along the way. Like even with all these, you know, big things happening, nigga, like you still mad humble and you still like, you have enough clout now where you could easily be like, I'm not fucking with this. I'm not fucking with that. Pop mad this week. Oh yeah, motherfuckers, it's on. I, I once, when, when Waldo told me what he's been working on, right? Cause Waldo, he doesn't really, Waldo's like the man of mystery. He just fucking does shit. And I just be, I be finding out like in passing. He's like, yeah, man, I just started a new car club. I'm part of a car club, you know. It was this group and this group, and we merged it together. And now we got 40, 44 Lake Effect. Damn. <laughs> and so you know me, I had to purchase a hat to support the guys. Hey. Nice. Support yeah. the fellas that don't even know me. They probably hate me. They're going to see this and be like, man, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most you know about cars, though? Um, how to push start. <laughs> and wait up. Some cars you have, you have to, to push the brake, though. And brake. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't like change my own oil and shit like that. But, but can you? Um, I know we talked about this before. Yeah, but. I, I, I can, I can, but I can't. Right? Like I have, I haven't. The last time I did it was in automotive class in high school. High school, Damn. and that was hell a long ago. Mm. So I, I don't even. I would not even get underneath a car. For real? Hell no. I change his fuses, right? I know how to check a fuse and, yeah. and stuff like that, but. A lot of today's cars are hard too, though, man, because it's all computer. More, more yeah, tech, yeah, yeah. It's more definitely te technology. Shit, I didn't even know that if you run your car on E, it can mess up your gas pump. Yeah, I didn't know that either. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't mess with cars too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, they're not that bad to mess with. I, I think it, it gets pretty fun if you know what you're doing. Yeah, it's, I don't. It's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like changing the oil. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. that's pretty easy for me. Uh, spark plugs, changing the spark yeah. plugs, pretty easy. You're yeah. supposed to do that every oil change, right? Change what, the spark, spark plugs. plugs? No. Yeah. no, it's like every. Damn, so I don't even know. But certain, certain miles, yeah, though. yeah, like, like miles. I, I'm at 120 thousand miles now. I'm, I I gotta change my spark plugs now. You drive an Altima, don't you? A Nissan Maxima. Maxima. Yeah. Same shit. Hell nah. Yeah. Big difference. How? If if you if we race, I'm a, I'm a win. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I think the maximum are are uh, more uh, spacious, yeah. right? Yes, they are. Yeah, I need space. Like yeah. I need I need to feel like you know your car your car is pretty spacious. What do you have? I have an Impala. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a uh, not by choice. It was what they told me that it was like, hey, you can have this. And I was like, all right, cool. What do you have? Oh, damn, I have a Malibu. Oh, Malibu. Yeah. Just, the, the Malibu, the Chevy Malibus are nice. Yeah. yeah. I used to have a an 06 Malibu. Okay. Yep. Okay. And uh, it was when I was living in Murray, and they stole the tires right off, left it on oh, blocks. Shit. Damn. Yeah. Okay. That's fucked up. <laughs> Fuck. Murray's known for that shit, though. Murray's known for, like, car vandalism. Damn. Whether if it's being broken into, or your tires being taken, or, uh, like, Cadillac converters. It, is, yeah. it, really? is it certain areas, yeah. or just it doesn't matter anywhere in, 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 in Murray? Um, well, I mean, nah, just really it, like the Murray holiday area. Like, I don't know how it, I got to check in, in on it, but the Murray holiday area, especially in like the early two thousands, like the Oh five ish time. Right. That's when it was heavy. Oh shit. Yeah, man. My dad's car, uh, my dad's truck got broken into three times in like the four years that we lived in. Nah, it was like three, uh, it was like two, two and a half years that we lived at, uh, the Brittany apartments over on 4,500 South and 700 East. Yeah. Um, yeah, they broke into that. They broke into our Malibu like three or four <laughs> times too. Fuck. Yeah, it's a sick feeling, man. I don't. I don't know if you guys ever lived in like an apartment complex or anything like that. We lived in the projects. Yeah. People always stole the shit. So you know the feeling when you go out to your car and you're like, like you, you can't do shit. You feel like yeah, they, they just raped your ass. <laughs> Basically, I'm like, yo, just don't <laughs> fuck up my car. Well, what did you do when uh, when they put your uh, car on bricks? We just called the insurance company, man, and we my, <laughs> went in my dad's truck and went to discount down the street. Got some yeah. new tires. He tied the the lugs on the bricks and shit and started rolling with the <laughs> bricks and shit. <laughs> Yo, I haven't. I have had to do that though. When uh, I my car, my uh, when I was driving the it was the um, the dogmouth.com U92 van at the time, and this is like 2008. Um, freshly got my license, right? I'm pretty pretty new to driving and shit, and I'm on. The freeway going and um, my front, my front uh, driver side tire exploded on the freeway. I'm going like eighty. Damn. What the? It was the scariest moment in my life. I thought for sure I was on because you know those little cargo vans. They don't have no suspension or anything. Like right. if you go, it's gonna the counterweight's gonna 
tip you. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I thought for sure I was going. Damn. Didn't happen though. No, nah, you were in God's in God's favor, I guess, man. Yeah, man. Didn't happen to you. Thank goodness. Oh, Definitely, yeah. bro. Oh, yeah. I uh you guys seen uh, a kill the MC here on the on the TV when you walked in and you're like, that's Tupac. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, funny thing is that I uh I had a listener hit me up today on on the radio and he called me up and I I, I had to get this audio because I wanted to bring it to you guys because this is the first time I heard about this MC. Are you serious? Yeah, I mean I've I've heard I mean Jurassic Five, obviously, right? Right. Yeah. But not the Tupac comparison. I never heard that. Mm. So when he told me this shit, I was like, okay. So I wanted to show you, share this with you guys. So okay. take a listen. And stop, Quentin. You said Tupac's alive? Yeah, go ahead. Look at it. Look, look up A-K-I-L-M-C. Uh, a- A-K-I-L, the MC. You'll find him. And that's you? No, that's Tupac. A-K-I-L, the MC. Yeah, look him up, dude. I'm looking at it's, it right Tupac. now. That ain't Tupac. Uh, it's him. He admits it. It's him. Okay, so he's just gonna be like, "Yo, I'm Tupac," and I. Where's he been, huh? What's A Kill been? Where's he been he's hiding? Been on a, he's been on an Indian reservation in Arizona, so the feds couldn't find him. What? Why is he hiding from the feds? But, well, I don't know. I, I I don't know exactly, but just watch a couple videos, dude. You'll <laughs> realize you can hear it in his voice. So, all right. So first of all, he's hiding from the feds because it's illegal to fake your own death. Not in First the. Up. I thought it was not in Nevada. I thought it was legal. No, it's illegal. It's illegal. Why would why would it be why would up. it be legal to to It's illegal, bro. You can't do that. Because from my understanding, it was because of the mobsters. Uh, the mobsters used to go to to Vegas to, to Vegas in, in in Nevada. Like I, I thought that it was perfectly fine to fake your death in Nevada. All now right, I, let me look that up. I could be wrong. Remember, you got to look in nineteen ninety. You know, ninety six. Ninety six. Yeah, that's true. Anything before. Cause I thought for sure it was okay. Le- I don't, I don't know why it would be legal. I don't know why it would be illegal. Well, because of taxes and all that, right? I mean, just I mean, what I mean, that, that could be a stuff, part of right? it. Just faking, you know, death. It causes a lot of uh, a lot of what's it called? Uh, 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 just problems. Do you see it now, though? I don't see the top. The you pop. still don't see it. No, I don't. I, they, I like we've been sitting here looking at it, and okay. it's like it like merges the faces. Yeah, so, and I don't see. I know Pac would be obviously old, right? He, so, yeah. So then the other member, Jurassic Five member, uh, did you see him? Uh huh. He looks like Gaddafi. Really? Go look him up. I'm yeah, telling you, he looks saying, like Gaddafi. Right? There's somebody else that they're saying that part of that group looks like uh, that's dead. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I forgot who it was. But so yeah, all, all yeah. this stuff is coming from Jurassic Five. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They grouped up. This is this is crazy, man. Yeah, look, <laughs> look, look at Jurassic Five. You'll see. You'll see that dude looks like. When I first heard this, I started tripping. Like, what the fuck? And they interviewed this dude, and and of course he's not Tupac, bro. But it's in, just the similarities are very are are interesting. You know what I'm saying? It's like, so do you guys believe that this dude is Tupac? No, no, no I don't. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. But like it's something to play off of. Like, yeah, it could be. You know, <laughs> you, never, you never know. Yeah, I, I think that. Uh, first of all, we've never seen. I mean, we seen Pac with hair back in what? Uh, uh, juice, 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 right? Yeah. But for the longest time, he didn't have no hair. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, he got hella nice looking locks. Well, but, but he was shave it though, right? and, and he was shave it because he was going bald. If oh. you see on some of his interviews, like when he's in prison, yeah, he he uh, oh, that's true. He what's it called? It was like very, he was balding. Yeah, he was balding. But I'm saying like he, he had a, li- a little bit of hair, right? Yeah. And it, you could tell the spots that he was missing hair. I mean, I guess he could get a hair transplant, right? I guess there's that. I mean, yeah, true. I definitely. I mean, have we seen this dude with his shirt off? Does he have the tats? Uh, no, we that's haven't seen him with his shirt off. Wouldn't that be the number one thing? Like, yo, I'm Tupac. Thug life, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what does that mean? Enough? Unless, unless Pac's tattoos were all fake, because he knew he was gonna fake his death. Come on, nah, man. I'm joking. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Shit, it's a possibility, bro. Shit, you never know. At that age, though, what, what Pac was what 25 when he passed? Yeah, 24. 24. Mm-hmm. So at that age, man, do you really think about faking your death? Does it just get too much? Because I, for me, the way that we seen Pac in the in the spotlight, I never thought, man, he's stressed out. Or I think, I think for like him, that. I think it was. I think for him, it was stressful. 
I mean, he was getting accused of, of rape charges. He was being, like, portrayed as this criminal, as this person that just was evil, bro. Like, like causing bad things in this world. Like, you know, uh, even the police department, right? They try to, they try to, uh, the, I think the feds came up and, and they were saying that he was manipulating kids to shoot cops because that's what his lyrics were saying. What it, right? Like, yeah. But that was, that was not what he was saying. Anyways, and he had that. Then he had uh, the confrontation with the crooked cops where he started shooting at them, right? The, uh, the, uh, the undercovers. Yeah. The, they were drunk. They had taken a gun from the evidence room. Yeah. And that's the gun they, were, they uh, started shooting at Pac or whatever. And so, you know, he got in trouble because of that. So I'm, I'm pretty sure he had a lot of people, you know, after him. Didn't, didn't uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Shock G. Told him he warned him. He was like, "Hey, bro, you got you got a you got four people, you know, uh, after, you? Uh, after you." He's like, "I don't give a fuck." He told Shock G. That's what Shock G said, at least. When yeah. I got that phone call today, I instantly called bullshit. <laughs> that, oh, that one. Yeah, That's- man. Because it's like I don't know, man. It's not every day that you're like, "Yo, man, Tupac." I mean, we get those ever so often, right? Right, right. right. The the numbers game where it's like. You know this number, this number. He he's gonna resurrect in this. Yeah, Tupac's been supposed to come back and show himself so many years, right? Well, it wasn't. It, he was supposed to show up in two thousand seven, right? Something like that. That yeah, was back in two thousand seven. I was. I remember because I was waiting for that motherfucker. He never <laughs> showed up. <laughs> <laughs> he was sitting there with his all eyes on me t shirt on, on <laughs> with, a candle, <laughs> with a candle, bro, and everything. Like, hey, it's coming back. Tupac's back. What if that did happen though? What if these? What if anybody that's dead, right? Like, Damn. what if it's Kurt Cobain or um, Tupac, Biggie, right? These 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 guys that are dead, but there's rumors that like he's they're alive. Yeah, Hitler, right? Like, I mean, it it, it, it goes it goes back to I mean, for me at least, it goes back to religious beliefs, right? Like, um, like Jesus Christ, they say he's not dead, right? And he's not. Right, he's still alive, and he his second coming or third coming, second coming is you know is bound to happen. But like, I, it, it's interesting because I think like Pox Pox is Shakespeare because well he is he, because of, of the simple fact that just all his lyrics and everything he spoke about they it's like it made a story right and it, like he kind of made you believe that he was gonna come back. Like uh, I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only one that like damn. Like what if this dude comes back? There's a possibility that he could come back, right? It was just the way that he told everything. Machiavelli, yeah. the the headstone, the right. crack, the day he died, how uh, you know how long he lived until he died. Seven day theory, all yeah. that stuff, bro. Like I I have a uh, I have a cousin, my cousin's cousin. Uh, we would we would have that's just your cousin by the way. No, no, no. my cousin's cousin. Uh, is from his his mom's side. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, isn't that still your cousin? No, no, no. <laughs> my son's brother. Yeah, yeah. Still your son. Son. Well, he, he, he is our like our cousin. He is like our cousin. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Eli, by the way. But uh, damn, he, Eli gonna be like, damn. I thought we were family. I know, I he's gonna be like, you mother. <laughs> nah. So, uh, so what's it called? He he like really. We would talk and sit down about all this Tupac stuff, dog. Like, cause like we we're. I mean, you know, we were, we were fans, you know, we yeah. were fans of Pac. And so, uh, like, it, it was just crazy how how he set everything up before he died. You know what I'm saying? But uh, going back to what you said, uh, uh, like, like who, I, I don't know, man. That, that would be a trip if, if uh, besides Pac, uh, oh, there was, there, was, there was one artist I was thinking that passed away that how would it be if he would still be alive? Um, who is it, bro? I don't know. Not I not can't us. read your mind. I think Michael Jackson would be it for me. Michael Jackson. Really? If Mike was like, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm here. Bob, Bob Marley. Bob Marley. Oh, Bob Marley. Yeah, he was assassinated though. Uh, I thought he died off of cancer or something like that. No, they, the CIA. Okay. They assassinated. That's him. what I thought. That's what I. That, that's what the rumors, right? Same thing with um, uh, MLK. The FBI killed him. Oh, yeah. oh but that that the the what's it called? The uh, transcripts. And the everything. transcripts are out already. The family sued the the feds or whatever for Isn't that. Isn't that crazy though? We got proof that the FBI assassinated Martin Luther King Jr. And we just it's it's like nothing. Nothing happens, right? Nothing no happened. Yeah. Like yeah. what what happened to the FBI? The FBI was um created by uh I believe a Nazi. I believe or no KKK member. Uh yeah. Oh, sure. Uh what's his name? Um fuck. I was they named the name. building after him on everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. They still Shit. like 
the the FBI that go to this the, this building that's named after a KKK member or leader, one of the two. Yeah, and that was the dude that that put the the whole shit together to assassinate yeah. MLK. And then nothing happened to them, and they haven't you know taken down his building down. But you know what I'm saying? It's like I don't know, bro. It, that's just weird to me, bro. Like these dudes get away with a lot. But going back to that, I was talking to my mom the other day. Like I was like, man, mom, like, well, why do you think? You know, I wonder like like if. If um, now I'm, I'm gonna get a little bit religious again here, but if these guys weren't assassinated, would they be messing with God's plan? You know what I'm saying? And that's why God kind of allows this to happen. Or is it just because these dudes just made the wrong moves in in the sense of you know because Pac was hanging around with Suge Knight, Pac was hanging around with the wrong people, and and it, you know what I'm saying so maybe it was his fault, but his uh, ulterior motives were. Really genuine and good You know what I'm saying He was re- tr- really trying to do good in the world mm-hmm. But it, I think if If um, if that would have happened You know what I'm saying What, what would happen to us You know what I'm saying I, Does that make sense I don't know if I'm making sense It's almost like divine intervention Kind of thing right Where it's like Everything every, This whole life Everything that we know about Has a path mm-hmm. And if something gets in the way of that path The alternative mo- motive Gets you back on that path Right Right So Um I don't know, man. I think that that's that's something that's fun to think about yeah. because it's like nobody knows what the end of this shit is, right? Yeah, right. right. We we all have our individual beliefs and and faiths and opinions, yeah, and opinions, yeah. Um, I just it. I mean, it was still a kid. I mean, twenty four years old. Yeah, yeah bro. I, I, yeah, no, we, I was, we've lived longer than than a living or than a legend yeah. like Pac. We've had. Some of us, some people that we know have doubled his life. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's just crazy to think about how much of an impact this man had at such a young age. And for, for like Memo and me, like us, we yeah. didn't, like, we, we know Pac, but we didn't, it wasn't like Nip, right? Like, we, we oh, yeah. were able to feel Nip. Yep. Yeah. Yep. But we still have a huge impact to Pac. You yeah, know what I mean? Man. It, it trips me out that he was so young and he, he did all that. He did. He accomplished, you know, he accomplished so much. Yeah. And uh, honestly, I, I feel like he's he's more mature than I was at 24. Mm-hmm. And he, yeah, man, like his his uh, lyrics, his uh, knowledge, all that stuff is like, man, it's you crazy. Benefit, uh, I mean, I think it's fitting because it's a World International um, Women's Day today. Right? Oh, sure, yeah. A lot, of, a lot of that came from his mother. Right, he told yeah. us a lot yeah. of that came from his mother. His mom's a, a strong woman, yeah, yep. um, a strong a, a woman that was um, kicked out of the United States, right? You know, a yeah. woman that raised the her, her son into this strong figure, um, and even at a young age, like he was able to keep that. Right, he yeah. wasn't um, he wasn't anything other than what his mom wanted to to create. Right, right. yeah, and right. I think that's dope. And yeah. I think that's you know a huge compliment to having a strong mother, right? Um, which is is something that I wanted to talk about, which is International Women's Day. Man. Yeah, bro, yeah. Sh- definitely a lot of women. You know what I'm saying? They they they, they have it hard, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, men too. You know what I'm saying? But but at the end of the day, man, I think it all falls down in the on the woman at the end because if you don't have a good woman by your side or just a, a good woman in general. You know what I'm saying? It's like a lot of shit could go south. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I know for me, man, shit, my wife, man, I I, I got to give it to her, man, because, like, I, I got to give her her props and her, and her kudos because, like, she she holds me down, man, like no other, and I appreciate that about her. And my mama, too, man. Love you, mama. I never, We never really talk about you, mama, but we love you a whole lot. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, man, my mom, my mom's always, like, you know what I'm saying, trying to support us and... You know what I'm saying? Telling it, it, it's something about mothers, bro. Like, like when when you're feeling down, when you're feeling like just man, the world's, you know, just on 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 your shoulders and stuff. It's like she comes, she tells you the right things, and it's like everything doesn't matter. Yes, Everything's yes. gonna be all right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just something about that. I, I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. I, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I grew up with a single father. Yeah. I see. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want to have this conversation, then, bro? I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. One because I'm a father of a, a future woman, right? Yeah, I definitely. got a baby girl, um, but I also respect um, women to the highest regard. You know what I mean? I feel like, um, I I, th- I feel like we have to, man. We have to 
That's why I end all my videos with pay women more because I don't care if women are getting paid a hundred dollars more than men nationally. They deserve more. Yeah, they deserve more. I mean, just looking at what women go through, and there's the argument that men go through things too. Yes, but what women for us to be here, what they went through. Just yeah. think about that. Yeah. They created us. Your mother suffered nine months. Nine months. Unless you're a preemie. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And and gave life and was able to create you. Mm. So that's something that I feel like we will never be able to repay. Okay, yeah. Well, I, I think like like uh, uh I get what you're saying. And I don't know, like I in the sense, like I think, I think with when it comes to women, and I might be wrong, you know, what I'm saying a lot of women are not driven by money, right? Like you know, by getting paid more or whatever. It's just more mostly us. Like Pac said it, like you got to treat women right. Like we we have to we have to show the next generation, hey, the, you got to treat women right, no matter what, regardless you whatever you do, you just got to treat them right, and 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 that could be in uh, uh, different levels of of respect or whatever. But if we teach. The youngins to teach the ladies, you know what I'm saying? It's just a, a, a respect. Women respect that, right? I, I don't think it's really all about money, but I mean, maybe it is. Nowadays, that's well, shit. The reason why I bring that up is because um, last time I checked, and I'm not going to fact check right now, women were getting paid, I think it was like $0.63, uh, 63 cents to every men's dollar. Mm -hmm. Damn. Right. That's not right. Yeah. If a woman's doing the same work and they're putting in the same effort, they should get the same pay. So equal pay. E equal pay mm -hmm. Equal or more pay For me if I'm voting More pay More pay Right Give the men a dollar Give the women a dollar twenty Right Right um, So that's why I, When I when I say When I say pay women more It's yeah. because Women aren't paid the same in, in the United States As men Got you Got you Now granted there are some outliers Where there are bosses Boss women out there That are getting Loads of There's plenty of women Getting paid more than us Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Right yeah, yeah. Um, But the national average and the um, what's happening overall, right. right? Overall, bigger picture, women are not paid the same as men. I mean, for sure, bro. I mean, I I, I see that. I mean, if, if I see what you're saying, and I think uh, they should get paid the same if that's the case. I, I I haven't checked the facts or haven't haven't looked into none of that stuff, which I think I will now after this conversation, and we'll talk about it on our pod, but yeah. but. I, I have heard, you know, things. Uh, uh, I listen to Jordan Peterson. You know who that is? Um, yes, I do. I think <clears throat> the name sounds familiar. Yeah, and and I, I can't really. I'm not gonna quote exactly what he said because I, yeah, you'll butcher. Yeah, I'll butcher that <laughs> shit completely. We but know you messed up with the pock yeah. lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with the what? Oh, with the pock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, nah. And Dre the Rock. <laughs> Dre the Rock. You heard that? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, it was I'm awesome. I'm sorry, Dre. No, it was perfect because The Rock is my favorite. Hey, Dre the Rock. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he was saying something about like like men also suffer a lot. You know, they go through a lot that is just not spoken about, right? Women do. I'm not trying to take away from none of that as I say this. I'm just saying like it's just a different perspective, right? It's a different opinion or not opinion. Just he 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 pulls out facts mm -hmm. and says that you know it, it, I don't. He doesn't believe that women don't get paid enough. He doesn't believe that. I think he says he he, he gets people get paid accordingly. That's that's basically what it is. You get paid accordingly for your services for what you do. So you're telling me that someone's gonna come to your job and they're not gonna pay her the same way because it's a female if they if she does the same job that you're doing. That definitely happens. Damn. Okay. Discrimination I didn't know that. of sex for sure. Hmm. Right. These are things. Right. Same thing with race. Right. Yeah. There might be somebody that might be a different race than, than us and they get paid a certain amount just because they don't think we're worth it. Damn. Right? Yeah. This shit the fucked up shit happens. And you're right. I Damn. see that. You're right. I get it. That makes sense. Yeah, there's plenty of times that we we've all worked in an office setting where we've seen a woman be talked down to. If you haven't, maybe you haven't stuck around long enough. Bro, some lady some I remember I was working at this job and I was like doodling on the desk. And uh, something you shouldn't be doing. That's something I shouldn't be doing, right? Yeah. And this lady comes up to me. She goes, "Hey, get over here!" Like, like, a, like I'm a little kid, and she grabbed me by the arm. She's all like, <laughs> I, "I was like, what the fuck? Get your hands off of me!" You know what I'm saying? And 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 she like stopped, and she just she realized what she was doing, and you know, and I don't know what the fuck she was thinking, but anyway, she got demoted, 
and stuff because you know I because of you. Yeah, hell yeah, she shouldn't be grabbing me like that. You should have been doodling. <laughs> All the she she would have been like, hey, you know, like you're gonna get written up if you keep doing that. Something I wasn't tagging. I was just doodling. I was just like bored, with right? Or so let's yeah, go to the pencil. very be- hey memo. Let's go to the very beginning. <laughs> okay, I was doodling on the desk. <laughs> yeah, if somebody's writing on your property, it wasn't her property though. If she's the what? She was the manager. She was. So what was she managing? Me doing my work. She was managing the the office. Me she was doing my work. The equipment. The desk. That's not. That's if not. If your ass they don't was pay not her, doodling, they don't pay her to fucking go around and be fucking security and see if anybody's vandalizing. They pay her to manage. Yeah, exactly. And well, she was managing you. Yeah, but I was. The thing is, <laughs> she handled you. The thing is, I was, I was on the phone with a Get client. Get your little baby face ass up. <laughs> I, was, I was with a client. I was doodling, talking to the client, and this lady came up to me and grabbed me by the arm, bro. Like I was. I was so furious, it, and I was this close, like to like huh. punching her ass. You know what I'm saying? Damn, but, you were gonna hit a woman? Yeah, bro. Because because at that time, if she grabbed somebody like that, that means she she's grabbing all these little kids like that, bro. And that's not fair. <laughs> you mean you were a little kid? I was a little kid at that time. <laughs> <laughs> he still is. <laughs> I'm saying, bro, you you can't you can't expect to grab somebody like that, and you know there no be no repercussions. Like shit, like there so something what, has to give. What that have to do with pay? Yeah, no, 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 no. Wait, a, what did it have to do with that? <laughs> oh, oh, say she was a manager. She was a manager. She was getting paid good, and she decided to come do that shit. Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's her fault. She got demoted. It's not my fault. And was your fault? No, it wasn't. You started. She could have hand. She could. She could have handled that situation a lot better than what she did. What would you have done? If I'm the manager? No, no, no. If 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 you got grabbed like that. Was she fine? Hell nah. <laughs> if she was fine, yeah, she could grab me however she wants. Nah, I'm joking. Nah, nah. Even if she was fine. What, like, how old were you? I was 21. 21. No, oh. actually 20. I was, I was 20. 21 year old Dre was not. Not good? No. Nah, so oh. I, I probably would have. I probably would have reacted pretty abruptly. Yeah, and I, that's what I did. I kind of did. And then the man, like her managers came up, because there's a bunch of managers on the floor, right? Yeah. And uh, all the managers came up to me like, hey, we're sorry. You know, they were apologizing to me. And then like a few weeks later, she got demoted, you know? Mm. And I guess this wasn't the first time. Anyways, the reason I'm saying this is that, you know, she got treated accordingly. You know, she 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 was getting, and all the managers told me she was getting like paid a lot, mm. more than other managers. Why, male, would, they, why would they tell you that? Oh, because I had friends. They were my friends. Ma- the other managers were my friends. Oh, okay. Yeah. So a- after, yeah, they sounds told like me. a setup. So for her, yeah. Well, it's, it's too late now. Sounds, I ain't, I ain't like, setting. Like a setup, man. I don't know. You set this chick up to get fired. Nah, man. And that's another thing. She wasn't. She wasn't my manager. That's that, that's another thing. I did say she was a manager, but she was she was a manager. She wasn't my manager, and she came and and she grabbed me like that. Like you know, by, did, by the did she arm. say why? Was it <laughs> no, because no, you were <laughs> I'm traumatized. <laughs> nah, um, nah. She, but she came up to me after, like she was already uh, uh, demoted, and she's all like, "Hey, I apologize for grabbing you like that. I, I don't know what came over me." I said, Damn. "Bitch, <laughs> get away from me." <laughs> A woman coming up to you and being like, "Yo, I apologize for grabbing you like that." Yeah. It's hilarious. I mean, I, shit, I don't care. <laughs> Yo, Fadi's <laughs> Fadi's collar was all stretched out. <laughs> <laughs> he had the bacon collar on. Uh, <laughs> that's fucked up, dog. Like, Every time she come into a room, he was like, <laughs> <laughs> he blinches up. Traumatized, bro. Shit. Uh, I'm not doodling. <laughs> what is a, well, obviously, man, it's, it's International Women's uh, Day here. Um, and uh, not just here, nationally. That's why I said International Women's Day. You said here. Here. Here, like here today. Oh, well, right. Yeah. Yeah. Let him, let him. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. Hey, he invited the Lake Talk in a we're You're getting us. No, I got. Uh, I'm joking. I'm joking, bro. Half the groups here. Yeah, half. I, half yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, half the groups here. Um, but you are a father to uh, a girl. Two girls. Two girls. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, your oldest is a. Um, she's nine. She's nine. Yep. Nine years yep. old. What does that mean to you? Like, what does it mean to to raise two daughters? Man, that's a great question. Um, I'm full of them. Yeah. Uh, man. Uh, it's a it's a new experience. I mean, of course, I, I I'm still learning, right? Uh, but it means I have to uh, raise them right, right? Like let teach them about like different things, like boys, right? What to expect, you know? What 
to expect in life with people telling them, hey, you know, like you said, you know, like, oh, you're just, you're a, a female. Mm-hmm. We're going to pay you this much or whatever. Anything, just preparing for life. Mm-hmm. That's, that's pretty much what it is. I mean, it means a lot, man. I guess I didn't say much, but <laughs> but it means a lot. Because, uh, yeah. I mean, my daughter, she's she's uh, like 16 months now, right? Yeah. So I'm a long way from nine years old. Yeah. But you're not that far away from 18 years old. Yeah, it's close. So she's like, a, half. She's about to be 10. Yeah, yeah, so it's crazy. You're about halfway. Nine plus nine is eighteen, bro. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So she's almost at the age where she's gonna start driving. She's gonna start, um, you know, figuring out about what she's into, yeah. um, and all that stuff. Yeah. Does that worry you? It does, because it terrifies me. It, it, yeah, no, definitely. Uh, and I, and I, you know, hear from other, you know, parents that their kids are already teenagers, and they're like, man. It's going to be tough. I'm like, man, shut up. Don't tell me that. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll uh, figure it out as I'm going. But yeah, man, it does. It does. Uh, but I'll right now I'm trying to my best to, you know, kind of teach her about different things, you know, like what to expect in life. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I struggle with timing with um, even just our kids. Right. In general, whether if it's our boys or our girl, I mean, you don't have a girl, but. Um, even with our boys, like I don't, I don't sit my sons down and be like, yo, this is the lesson for today. Right. Yeah. But I also try to find when I should have those conversations and, and maybe not have them so formal, but check it off in my head. Like I did talk to him about that. Yeah. Right. Cause oftentimes we have your, your, your kids go through something. Right. And it's like, did I teach them not to touch the stove or did I react to it? Right. Or did I tell them how to handle a bully bully or what to do in a certain situation? And I'm realizing that I'm not liter- I'm not having these these conversations consciously. Mm-hmm. But do you think we should as parents? Yeah, I think we should, especially while while they're going through it, definitely. Like take a step back and be like, "Okay, how can I analyze this and and teach them instead of reacting like you said, just reacting and be like, "Oh, you know, what why would you do that or this and that?" Um, when like for me, when I pick my girls up from school and like something happened during the day at work that I feel like it's, it's a, a learning for myself and something that they can learn from it as well. I, I start talking to them and I don't make it like formal, but I make it like, so they can understand. I put different situations for them and, and tell them like, Hey, you know, you need to, if this situation happens, you know, sit back, relax, like. Think about it before you react to it. You know, just take a second, then handle it like um, you think is the right way to handle that situation. So that's that's what I do. Uh, I don't know about about Fonzie. I mean, for my boys, I, it, it just it's just whenever it happens, it happens, right? Like for example, when it comes to the sex talk, one I think twelve years old. I think I'm gonna talk to them about that stuff, depending on how their mind is, right? Um, because I was exposed to that type of stuff at a young age. So I, I, I'm very mindful mm-hmm. about that stuff. Um, but I think I'm not, I'm like you, bro. I'm not, I don't know. I don't know exactly when and where sometimes, but once again, it's uh national women's day mm-hmm. and In- I think international. My, international, what did I say? National <laughs> international women's here. day here. here. <laughs> um, and, uh, my wife, man, my wife does a great job kind of like, you know, doing that stuff. But when it comes down to like the man stuff, right, the the things that she can't mm-hmm. explain to, to my kids, that's when I step in and I, I try to, you know, take over that. And, and people are laughing like, we can't even explain what the fuck you're talking about right now. How are you explaining <laughs> that shit to them? <laughs> no, nah, I'm joking. But, but yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, it just depends. I, I think I, I take my time with it and, and uh uh, don't react. I, I'm I'm very patient with my kids, very patient. Yeah. When yeah. I when I say react, I don't mean as in like Jurassic, like oh don't do that. I mean in the sense of like I tell them about something. Like uh, for instance, I'm gonna use a s- very simple um, example: touching the stove. Right. Mm-hmm. Me reacting, being like, "Why did you touch the stove?" Right. Versus me being like, "Hey yo, be careful when you're in the kitchen because I have the stove on." Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's the same thing with like. If if something embarrassing happens at school, right, whatever that is, 
am I having these conversations with my son to prepare him with how to move, right? Let's say he wets himself at school, whatever, yeah. right? Does he have does he does he know how to navigate that, or is that something where he just has to go through the embarrassing moment and figure that shit out? I peed. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. for example, my my kids be running in my house all the time, right? And I and I always tell them like, hey man, don't run. And and it, I'm constantly telling them, don't run. You're gonna hurt yourself. You're gonna you're gonna hit the wall. Or you're gonna push your brother. Yeah. Something's gonna happen. You guys are gonna hurt each other. Something's gonna happen. One of you guys are gonna get hurt. And they don't listen. They're still running. And boom! All of a sudden, I hear them like one of them crying. Ah. <laughs> right? I told you so. Right? No. And I'm in the, I'm in my bedroom just laughing. Like, <laughs> yeah. I told you, you no know, more. Anyway, so so then I come out and be like, Hey, what happened? What did I tell you that I was gonna hurt myself? Exactly. Yep. You didn't listen, dude. And look what and look what happens, right? Mm-hmm. Like, dude, like you you gotta you gotta start thinking why I'm t- why am I telling you this? There's a reason behind it. I'm not just telling you because I want to mess up your fun. No, I want you to have fun, mm-hmm. but not in here. Not not don't have fun like that in inside the house. You need to go outside. You know what I'm saying? Do whatever you gotta do, but don't do that in here because you're gonna get hurt. Um, and so now they they kind of get it. They kind of get it. And stuff, so yeah, it is what it is. You know, I, I try to take my time to explain little things like that. But, yeah, this is gonna be your third, right? Or s- so. So I have uh, Tavian; he's nine. Yeah, and then I got Amari, who's three, and then I got Anaya, that's sixteen months now. Okay. Yeah, and so it- right now we're done. Right, yeah, unless yeah. And for some reason one of my swimmers makes his way to the promised land. Yeah, 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 yeah you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah, but we're done. Um, we're looking at vasectomies. Um, you guys are religious. Is that against the the religion to get a vasectomy? You know, I don't. I don't. I I I, I heard that it was. I heard that you're not supposed to do none of that stuff. But then again, I mean, I don't know, man. I, I'm pretty sure a lot of people still do it. I I don't know. I I was thinking about it. I was thinking about getting a vasectomy, but I don't know, man. My wife wants me to do it. Same. I here. think we, we've talked about it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. My wife's on the same tip. She's like, "Yo, yeah. get get it done." I don't know. I'm scared, man. I'm not necessarily scared. It's really about like how long am I gonna be down? A week. You know I mean, like I can't be stopped. Did, did an angel say a week? You're like down yeah. for like a week or so? Yeah, but that was also I think he got that shit done years ago. Oh, so I'm I'm sure some technology shit's technology. Yeah. been different, right? Medicine's different. Yeah. Um, but I just don't want to be down for a week. Like I tr- I I fucking wake up every day. I'm like, ah, fuck. Is this just like morning fucking mucus or is this like I'm getting sick? You know what I mean Like Cause we all get the crust And we gotta You know what I mean Like But I dread Like I fucking I don't wanna get sick That's like Not even because of COVID Just because I don't wanna be down for days You have a lot to accomplish Yeah A little bit of time It puts more work on my wife You know what I mean And more work on my kids You know what I mean Because dad ain't there Or whatever Or dad's laid up Um But yeah man I'm I'm I I'm about 90 fucking Nine percent sure that I'm gonna have it done. It's just about when. Oh yeah, shit! Yeah, there I don't. Else. I don't think I'll have it done. I think that's too. That's too uh, extreme. I, I like I said, I thought about it before, but nah, man, I don't. I don't think so. Just wear a condom. Yeah, I mean, they're expensive. It's, it's expensive. It's. I mean, in the moment though, like. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't know about you guys, but I don't. I don't plan Mr. Nasty time. You but, don't plan it. No. It just you happens. Just happens. Spare the moment. No, we a calendar. We don't got <laughs> Hey, yo, it's Tuesday, red panty night. <laughs> Let's go. I, yeah, man, I come home and it, it's, we don't plan it either. I don't yeah. plan it. You know, yeah. want me to take you through step by step what happens? Yeah, nah, let's see. Nah, 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 but we don't plan it or nothing. It just happens. But uh, yeah, man, I'm, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I could do it, bro. I don't think I could do it. I think you could. No, I don't think I want to do it then. There you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to do it. <laughs> what is your wife? Do it. Does your wife want you to? No, my, she my my wife wants a third child. I don't want. I don't want. She wants a girl, right? I don't want a girl. I mean, I don't want a, another kid. I don't want another kid. Because you know, I know little uh, Stephanie's gonna be like, Dad, you didn't want me. Watch his back. Already gave her a name. Yeah, no, <laughs> Stephanie. Hey, what the hell? No, nah, no. Nah. Uh, so uh, yeah, no, nah, bro. I don't. I don't think I want another kid, man. It's too expensive, man. It is. Yeah. It is, yeah. man. I, 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 for one, am done. You know, when I, when I first got with my girl and everything, I was like, I want a football team. I want a bunch of kids. And then shit happens, right? And you yeah. have that first, that first time when your infant is sick and it's like you can't do shit, right? right. And then Damn. 
that's the worst, man. Is when you you have your I don't know about you guys, but I think I speak for everybody when your when your kids are sick, it's the worst thing, man. Right. Yeah. Um, especially in today's age with this whole virus shit, you just never know now. I think <laughs> I think that this virus thing is uh, ingrained like fear in me, where it's like, fuck, man, I hope that this isn't worse than what it is. What it is yeah. Um, and I had that fear with RSV. I don't know if any of your kids have had yeah. RSV. Yep. Um, the rhino or something Yeah the rhino virus Rhino virus yeah, yeah dog Like I'm talking about My middle child He had it so bad man He was deep You could see Fucking pretty much his spine Because of the way That he was breathing His oh, belly You would see His belly would sink in So deep Because of the way He was breathing Oh shit And um, we had to take him To, to primaries And he was in primaries For uh, It was like a day and a half Or something like that When was this um, he, Amari was About one and a half So it was about two years ago Damn, Damn. Yeah he uh he caught a real bad case of RSV. So before the pandemic, yeah, before uh, twenty twenty, yeah, like that, it might have been COVID. Damn. Yeah, it was right before. Yep. But I thought kids weren't getting it at that time. It was only adult, adults. I don't, I don't know. They weren't testing them. So he's I just saying know. it might have been. Oh, been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn, that's, that's interesting, bro. Like, yeah. damn, I'm glad he's all right. Yeah, yeah definitely, he, man. Yeah, he survived. He was good. Um, you know, I, I pray and I, I hope that fucking no kid ends up in the hospital. Yeah. But it's tough, man, because what do you do? You can't give your kid, you know, there's a certain age where you can give them stuff and you can't. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's oils and herbal shit that you can do. Right. Um, But overall, man, it's just it's just a scary time when your kids are sick. And that's the only reason why I don't want to have any more kids because we're almost out of the infant phase with um, Anaya. And um, you don't want to start all over again. Yeah, man, it's just scary, man. No, I, I guess you, you don't know the. You're rolling the dice every time that your your wife gives birth. You're rolling the dice. Oh, you yeah. don't know what they're if they're gonna have a mental illness, if they're gonna have a physical disformity. Yeah, they're gonna have you know something that's gonna make um, life a challenge. Right, right. Well, do you know what? Uh, like, uh, I, I remember around 2020, my kids were sick too, and I was scared because it was a coronavirus, right? So I I did the whole. Uh, um, what do you call the that? Nasal, the nasal spray or whatever that you you shoot water up one one of your nostrils, it comes out the mm-hmm. other. And uh, it was it was crazy because one of my kids, I did it to him, and he was like crying like crazy, but he was sick, like he had a big like a fever, like a high fever. Anyway, so I did it, and like this little meat looking thing with it looked like the coronavirus, like literally, it looked like the coronavirus, like a little booger, and it just came out. And it was after that he started feeling way better. That was it. I think that was it. Damn, what the hell? Yeah. What was it? I don't know. It went down the, the drain, so I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, he should have saved it and sent it to the lab. <laughs> For yeah. real. Yeah. Damn, what if your kid was patient zero? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, if he wasn't, we made it out because we didn't get sick. Oh, actually, we were sick before the kids got sick, like way before the kids got sick. And then all of a sudden, the kids got sick, like months after. You guys, uh, you guys see, uh, Jack Harlow's gonna be the new white man can't jump star. Oh yeah, yeah. Did you guys watch the original White Man Can't yep. Jump? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wesley well, Snipes, yes. Yep. Woody Harrelson. So he's gonna be, he's gonna be it. Rosie Perez. Ooh. Remember those yeah, titties? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he, he, they just announced he's gonna be this. Uh, he's he's starring in it. Okay. So I'm assuming that he's gonna be the Woody Harrelson of the 2023 version. How do you feel about that? I think it's dope. I love yeah. Jack Harlow, man. He yeah, yeah. bar for bar, he's one of my favorite artists out sure. right now. Damn, like okay. he is. If you really listen to his lyrics, man, that dude be spitting better than Corday. <sighs> come on, man. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> different, different type of rap. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But I, I look forward to. It. I want to see who's who's co-starring. Yeah, right. Mm. I want to see who he's gonna be. Who could it be? I, th- I thought I heard it was Michael B. Jordan. Oh, it oh, might shit. be. It I might be. Know. That would be a dope lineup. Yeah, yeah. Michael B is a great actor too. So yeah. this will be our first time seeing uh Jack Harlow get down on film mm-hmm. on big screen. Do you think it's the right one for him to start off on? A lot of sh- big shoes to fill. Yeah, right. This definitely. is a fucking iconic movie. Yeah, white man can't jump, but he can hoop. I mean, we seen him at the All Star game uh, this year. He yeah. can oh, hoop. I, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Was he hooping? Yeah, he was leading score. Him and like, even over Quavo, I think. Oh, what? Damn. Yeah. Oh, he, damn. he balled out. Damn. Yeah, that movie was cool. I was watching it the other day. What happened? What I, I was going to talk about the All-Star game that they're planning in 2023. Yep. For here. here. Yep. 
Are you excited for that? Hell yeah, man. That's um Will Wonder was telling me that's the 30th anniversary, 30 year anniversary since they were here in 92. Oh wow. Yeah. So this is a oh, it's a damn. big deal, man. Um damn. I'm excited for it because one, like this is the redemption year, right? Last year the the slam dunk contest was whack. You know what I mean? Like it got it got drug all over fucking the internet. So now is the chance where they can really fucking rebound on the dunk contest. Because for me, growing up, I don't know if you, if you agree or not, but for me, the dunk contest was the event. Oh, yeah. Like the all-star game was cool and everything like that, but the, the slam dunk contest is what we tuned in for. Mm-hmm. And we wanted to see the guys fly, man. And when Vince Carter was doing it, we had Mike, yep. right? All these guys were doing uh, 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 Steve, uh, Steve Francis. Yep. Uh, he was one of my favorites. Oh, really? Yeah, he was one of my favorites. Um, but you had all these these great high fly dunkers um, that did it. I understand that there's only so much you can do in the air, and it's pretty much all been done. Yeah. But I'm also seeing these guys on the internet doing these crazy dunks in high school gyms behind yeah. the backs and yeah, I be, yeah. Five forties. Did you see the dude hit the five forty dunk? Nah. I'll show you after. Okay. This okay. dude, it was an. I think it was. A, I think he played for an one. He had a five forty, bro. Damn. Five forty. Yeah. That's. That's like two see, spins and a half, man. Yeah. <laughs> he's flying. It's Damn. incredible, man. Damn. Okay. Um. So I'm. I'm excited for the, the the redemption that um that could come for next year. I'm also excited because we're in the space where um. You know we're we're gonna have a lot of opportunity during that time, yeah. right? Um, and we're gonna be having the opportunity to hit the streets and 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 talk to people from different countries and different cities because they're all gonna be coming here, yes, yeah, right? Yeah. So um, there's a there's gonna be a lot of opportunity in that in that realm. Um, and there's gonna be a lot of parties during that time. There's yeah. gonna be a lot of events. Um, there might be even opportunities to even just work with the NBA. Yeah, right. True. Um, so I think that there's a lot to come that year. I just hope and I think it's a good time too because I th- I feel like we're coming out of like the whole pandemic shit. Yeah. Um the so en- I th- endemic. Yeah. That's what they're calling it. The endemic. Mm-hmm. Is that what it's called? Mm-hmm. It's the end yeah. of the pandemic. Yep. So yeah, man. I'm I'm excited about it. What you guys what you guys think about it? I think it's gonna be dope. I think uh I'm excited. Is that what you said? Is that what you said to bring Corday and uh, and uh, Ice Cube? Yeah. So that's yeah. So I've been telling Iraq, like our, my program director at the radio station, I'm like, yo, like this is the perfect opportunity for us to do something all weekend, right? Let's do something. Um, we had Valentine's Jam, which was about a month ago, mm-hmm. pretty much the same time. the The All Star Weekend's gonna be coming the same time, right? Next year. So what if we just did a concert? Let's let's bring somebody like an Ice Cube or Corday, artists that are really in tune with basketball. Somebody, that, people that want to come, yeah, to all, that might already be here, right? Um, Cube's one of those guys. He loves basketball. Yep. Yeah, yep. He's a huge Lakers fan. Yep. Now, what if we can have him come out for All Star Weekend and actually get a bag too? That'd be dope. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Utah loves Ice Cube, um, and the same thing with Corday. Corday's a huge hoops hoop fan. Yeah, he has friends here already. So, Drake being out. one of them, <laughs> us being one of them. Right? <laughs> hey, so um, talking about basketball and stuff. So we're setting up this whole thing with uh, uh, the uh, the tournament, three, on three, the three on three. Yes, and same with the podcasters and even local music artists, whoever wants to join. And uh, we're we're gonna announce it here soon. Uh, hopefully by give me another week. So you already you foots on the ground. You already yeah, running yeah. with this thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hell yeah! So we're, we're we're looking at one place, and and hopefully they come through. If if they do, then that's where we're gonna do it. And if not, we're gonna look at another place. But you know, it's in motion. Yeah. So yeah, now, definitely. did you talk to your boy at Cypress? Did he already agree? Yeah, yeah. What's that, that? That, that's that's who we're talking, we're talking to, to oh, okay. right now. Right yeah. now, yeah. yeah. So there's 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 you know some things we gotta yeah, of uh, you know go over and stuff and make sure that it it, it all works out. So yeah, we're, we're and, gonna and, see. And you said you wanted a ref? Yeah. I just want to be on the mic talking shit, to be honest. Let's, let's do that. Yeah. Let's do that. All right. I just want to be like, uh, remember back in the day from the Bay Area, the, the clown? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what yeah. was his name? Uh, B- Bobo, 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 no, uh, Bozo the Clown? No. No, no, no. no. I know who you're talking about, though. The hyphy clown. Yeah. What was his name? 
Remember, you guys, I mean, you guys were fucking there. I mean, it's, yeah, it's not on. your guys' the same area, but uh, yeah, I'll take another one. I know, Thank I you, know who you're talking about. Um, but yeah, oh, was, bugs, something, the clown, or uh, he said, Bugs Bunny, <laughs> <laughs> bleep, bleep, that's bleep, bleep. all, folks. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I would, I would like to do something like just be on the mic commentary. Yeah, um, I think that'd be fun. That to, would, that, to, that sounds to, I feel like that's my lane, you know what I mean. Um, you think so to to be commentary, uh, maybe intermission. Maybe you guys can do like around the world. I'll play oh, around the world shit. or something. Okay, Kenny the clown is it Kenny? I don't know. That don't sound familiar, but uh, yeah, I, I uh, run on McDonald. Okay. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, man, uh, I'm excited that you guys are. You, I mean, because everybody's been talking about it, right? It, yeah. it just recently resurfaced. I don't yeah. know what it was because you guys talked about it. Way back when you guys had the coach on. Yeah. No, I think it was, oh, we did, right? We yeah, did talk Trey. to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You You're talked right. about That's it true. because you talked about how you used to play, but you were shy and shit. No, I, still is. No, I'm not shy. I just, uh, I don't know what it, he, it was about that court. Goes, oh, my gosh. You never don't look the, at me. You never, <laughs> never shot the ball. <laughs> oh, damn. I shot it. I just missed sometimes. But, uh, yeah. No, nah, I'm not shy. It's just. It was it was different when I would play uh, organized uh, basketball. I, I think you got to sit down and really think about it because I really want to know what was like the 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 cause of you not shooting that fucking ball. You I already said it. No, 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 no. Because you always say uh, I don't know what it was. No, no, no. Okay, I know what it was. It was just that it was structured basketball, and uh, um, I always felt like the plays had a, you know, you had to do the plays the before, plays anything, before else. anything else. Yeah, and get it to the last person. And that's it. Shit. I could have been up, but but at you be you know, open, later, not taking it. Yeah, I'd be a, there. I'm like shit. Everybody's like shoot it. I'm like oh fuck, boom, pass it. <laughs> <laughs> no coach said pass it. Yeah, too. <laughs> well, well, I would look at him and he'd give me the stare, and I was like, all right, you know, there. <laughs> he's probably giving you the stare, like shoot it, motherfucker. Pro- what are you probably, for? probably. Did you, did you have your name on the back of your jersey? I did. Yeah. Did you? Did oh you keep wait, it? no, 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 we didn't. How many years did you play? When you because you got here in 05, right? Yeah. And how so, many years did you play? So I played uh, high school all three years. Okay. But I also played junior high uh, one year. So seventh grade. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. hold on. All three years. You didn't go four years at Cyprus? So no, I mean, it was uh, 10. Wait. No, yeah, 10, 11, 12. It's 9, 10, 11, 12 at Cyprus, isn't it? Freshman? Now it is. Oh, back in the day, back was in, it? No, when oh, I started, okay. it wasn't. Yeah. Wait, I thought it was. No. Oh, no, no, no. That's right. Junior high was four years. Yeah. And then. Because I came, I came from California and I was uh, um, already in junior high. Okay. Sixth grade out there. And then when I moved over here, I'm um, like, all right, I only have two more years in junior high. And nope. Yeah, I was like, what three, the hell? three more years. And three then there was no fences. <laughs> I was, man, that shit was a trip, man. No fences anywhere. I'm like, oh, man, we could just walk out. Yeah. And, and was Portland, dope. was it like that? Nah, man, we were the, the. I guess the difference between when when I was in school in Portland and here was Portland had pods. We didn't have classrooms. We had pods. So you think about, um, think about like a, like a circle, right? A circle, and in the middle of the circle, this is my elementary school. In the middle of the circle, there's um the library, right? And then spaced out are the classrooms, which are the pods, but the pods didn't have um doors. So everything was open. Gotcha. It was really, really weird, man. Huh. Clarendon Elementary. Um, once I moved to um, Southeast Portland, because that was on the that was in northeast uh, northeast side of Portland, right? Um, which is kind of like the the rough rough area, I guess you would call it. Um, and uh, so once I moved to the so- uh, southeast side, I went to DA Grout, and that's when we actually had classrooms. And almost like my school reminded me of um, kindergarten cop. Oh, with the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Arnold? Yeah. yeah. So the way that that school, yeah, the way that that school was set up, that's exactly how my uh, my second elementary school was set up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, and, but Mountain View here in you in Utah and Glendale, um, normal so classrooms. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it um, was a, it was a trip for me when I seen that the schools out here didn't have any fences around them. I was like, damn, these dudes must be really good students and shouldn't just go to school. And nope. Yeah. No, it no, it's the same shit. It's just, I don't know why they have fences for you guys. I guess so people can't come in. in. Oh, and yeah. People can't go out. Yeah, people can't come in. A safety thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. That makes sense. Shit. Yeah, that was a trip. But did you ever, like, uh, do you have any stories about, you know, growing up and doing some dumbass shit? You're like, why did I do that? Beer runs. Yeah. I didn't even drink beer. 
And you did beer run? <laughs> yeah, just because I. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> he laughed. Yeah. <laughs> like we were, we were dumb, man. Like we would go to fucking like, and we would do it in our neighborhood. Damn. These are the stores that we would go to at night. But we would, we would just skip school, and then we would go to like the fucking Maverick or the Seven Eleven or the Chevron. And uh, or the su- sunburst, like sunburst. So Cottonwood High, where I went, sunburst is the literally the 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 gas station that's right outside our high school. Right. And our dumbasses go in there and snatch a full a, a full thirty pack, a case. We grab a case and we run out. I could I could imagine the fucking the, the clerk. Dre, come again. <laughs> Dre, yeah, I know what you, Dre. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Yeah, the seminary building's like literally right next door to the fucking, yeah. So uh, that was something stupid that I did that I didn't even partake in. So what did you do with it? I mean, all the homies drank it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I so you just it. watch them drink it and shit. Be like, I, hey, you better thank me, motherfucker. I just did all that <laughs> shit for you. Yeah, I mean, they, and I'm, you know, I'm not the smallest and the fastest. You know what yeah. I mean? So I'm like literally fucking planning out, all right. So you're going to go over here to the nacho. You're going to do this, and I'm going to go over here. I'm going to grab it, and then I'm going to run out. <laughs> and while he's looking at you, I'm out, right? So, like, we man, it was just, like, criminal mind stupid. And I didn't really realize that it was, like, a criminal thing. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't realize. What do you mean? What do you think it was? A fucking, uh, 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 what's it called? A uh, hobby or something? Fucking. I, didn't, gonna- I never thought that I would be in trouble. Now looking at it, it's like. That, that I mean, if I had a pocket knife on me, that's like robbery with an assault weapon, weapon too. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. or, or you know, whatever the, the it could be an upcharge, right? Yeah. Like now looking back on it, I'm like, damn, I could have really got into some trouble. You yeah. know what I mean, um, but nah, I never one never got caught, and two, like, um, once I became old enough to really realize like that was dumb, I stopped it. You know what yeah. I mean, and it got to the point where like the homies were like, yo, that's dumb. You know I mean, yeah, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. I, I used to, I used to do beer runs and I used to drink. <laughs> <laughs> you drink them? Yeah, bro. <laughs> One time, the car was waiting for me in the in the uh, alley, so so I run out or whatever with the beers or whatever, and I, I they leave the they don't leave the door open, they leave the fucking window open. <laughs> So I throw the beers in there and I dive in there and shit with the dude screaming, hey, get back over here. Like, oh, yeah, we're going to go back. But yeah, yeah, I, I, we got away. We used to do some Little dumb feet shit. Dingling. <laughs> Let me in. Pull hey, me in. He's like, hey, baby, get over here. <laughs> what yeah. about you? Man, uh, did you do beer runs? No, nah, I've never done beer runs. Never done beer runs. What was something uh, stupid you did? Uh, a- we would... Uh, Fucking the closet. Egging. Oh. What? <laughs> What'd you say? He said fucking the closet. <laughs> <laughs> in the science class. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Memo's out there beating cheeks. <laughs> did, did you ever beat cheeks in school? No. I, I never did. I did. All right, go ahead. I don't think I ever even kissed a girl at school. You never no? kissed a girl? I was very much like, yo, if you kiss a girl, she's gonna get pregnant. Really? Yeah, and my dad, me and my dad, I don't remember I don't know if you're you guys had the sex talk or whatever? Nah, my dad never. I never got that. I don't remember my dad ever sent me down and talking about sex with me. So do I you, learned. Do, do, oh, real quick, sorry. Do you know how that conversation is going to go with you and your son when you have that sex talk with him? I need to have it soon, man, because um, it's this is the time where, I mean, looking back at me, like I was I was full on getting boners at that, at that age. You know what I mean? Like... And it's not even like on some like I was looking at girls type of thing. It's just natural, like it yeah. just happened. Well, like you talking wake about like up, when you wake up with yeah. A, yeah. So I just thought because I had a pee in the beginning, yeah, but then I started not. the dream, <laughs> and then I started seeing the dreams and shit. Like I remember in the dreams, like oh that girl was giving me head. No, <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I, I I haven't thought about having the I have thought about having these conversations. Um, I don't know how that's gonna go yet. I just, no, I think I'm just gonna be honest, man. Just be honest and and let him know not to be embarrassed about questions and shit like that. Yeah, you know what I mean. I was like, imagine me giving my son a beer and me a beer, and we just gonna have a sex talk. Hey, man, you look. This is this is the way the world works. This is how you came in this world, and I beat your mouth cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> hey, wait, you were there? <laughs> <laughs> Your son was. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> good one, good one. I'm joking. I ain't gonna get my son no beer. Hell not. But 
Yeah, okay. I was just curious, just, you know, how that. But you're right, though. Like, don't be afraid to ask questions. Just kind of talk to them about this. If you hear, like, I, I, I definitely want to let them know, like, if you hear the word sex or whatnot, this is what it is. Don't let them tell you otherwise. Like, yeah. they, they don't know. You know, kids don't fucking know. So any questions you have, just come up to me and we'll talk about it. Yeah, I'm going to tell them straight up, like, yo, you. Wait, you, Tavian's eight, right? He's nine. Nine. He's about nine. to be ten. No, he's eight. He's about to be nine. Got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So, um. Yeah, it's about time to have that conversation, um, especially like for like predators and shit, right? Oh, God, definitely. Bro. Like these are the the times where I'm like, yo, this is even down to like defending, right? Like there's a time where we need to step up. We need to put ourselves in danger um, at times, right? Like I, I don't know, man. Maybe it's the wrong advice I'm giving my son, but I always tell him like, if you could stand up for a kid or you know somebody, stand up for him, right? Yeah. Yeah. And what does that look like? It looks like if you you know when something when something's wrong, but you have to be smart about it. You know what I mean? Like if I go out tomorrow helping some let's say, let's use a fucking generic ass fucking situation where uh, somebody a, a lady's getting mugged, right? right? Dude's struggling, right? Grabs her purse and runs away, and I stop it. But then at the same time, he pokes me up, right? And I die right there. At least I did something. You know what I mean? Mm. At least I died. That lady didn't get, get murdered or get raped. You know what I mean? Um, because she ha- now has an opportunity to to you know live on or whatever. But what if that was in vain and you know, they stabbed your ass? Now you're on the floor and then they still rape her. That's fucked up, bro. You it's know? still fucked up, but I did what I could. I got you. As long yeah. as you knew you did what you, all you could. Yeah, man. I think it's. Uh, I'm gonna use a recent a recent um, situation. Situation. I was driving to work and um, there was a lady. She was walking down the street And she didn't have no shoes on So I just drive past her And I notice it I drive past her I'm at the light I'm like Damn Like fuck man Like how can I help this lady Yeah Right So I keep driving And I'm like Nah man you gotta turn around bro You gotta turn around So I turn around And um But she was gone She was gone She Poof took off, yeah. Gone Fucking just, That's why she probably took off her shoes So she could run faster <laughs> <laughs> But that's my point Is that like If I didn't turn around I would have been like I would have had that feeling And I think that's where That's where faith comes in Right Like I don't know if it's um, You know Christ or whatever Or believe in whatever you believe in But I feel like we all have that intuition yeah. Of when you need to speak up Or when um, you need to do something about something I, I've had uh I was a I was a waiter. There's been times where I like heard a voice like, Hey, you know, pay for their food or do this or you know, like and I'm all like, All right, cool and I pay for their food. And it's like I d I don't expect nothing. I don't I didn't you know what I'm saying, and it is what it is, but I w- I always feel like I've always been blessed be just listening to that voice. You know what I'm saying? Just just whatever it is. Like, you know, and, and, and even if I haven't, like, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I it's not that I did it because I, I expected something. But yeah, I, I know what you're saying. Like when you listen to that voice, it's just like it just it, it, you feel good at the end yeah, of the day. It's like, yeah. damn, I helped somebody. Like, man, you know what I'm saying? They probably were in need. And I don't know nothing about them. Yeah. And so yeah, I, I see exactly what you're saying. Yeah, dope, man. bro. That's dope. I didn't know you. I didn't know you were like that. Because the other day we were on the phone. No, no, no. Like, like in the that was a, some bad <laughs> guy out here. Sure. <laughs> he only worries about himself. <laughs> I said you put out the window. You need some shoes. <laughs> Um, nah. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but no. The other day we were talking on the phone. This dude goes, "Oh, oh shit! Hold on, Fonz. Damn, damn. Their car, their car is broken down. I, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I'm like, go back, bro. If you gotta go back, go back. That was uh, that was on Friday, right? In front of Nacho Daddy, his dude broke down. Yeah, but then he got help, right? The dude was pushing his car, and he was in the middle of the lane. And I was driving on the opposite side of traffic, and um. I see him from a distance. I'm like, oh, shit, this dude just broke down. He's outside pushing his own car, trying yeah. to steer it. And so as soon as I get to a point where I could turn around, he got to a, a safe place. So I okay. ended up not having yeah, to Yeah, he, he had a... He, but still, though, just the thought that you were, you were about to fucking go hop. This food, this dude fucking... Well, yeah, no, he's I, a good Shout person. out to you, bro. Yeah. If you had a little claps and shit, we were like... I think it's <laughs> yellow. I think it's yellow. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> you know... <laughs> Cheers, man. I mean, cheers. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, standing ovation for you, bro, because fucking you're, you're just a people person and you, you like to help help. Like genuinely, like with nothing, like you don't want nothing, nothing back. Yeah. yeah. And I, that's that's dope. Dog. I told you this before. Like, I feel like you're the type of person that 
you know, a lot of people need but don't have. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I appreciate the simple fact that, you know, you're you're around us, bro. Definitely. And we're around you. Yeah. You know, you, we have that that uh, commodity, friendship. I guess, that friendship. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So I appreciate that. I, ex- I accept all that energy, man. You guys are the same thing, right? I feel like... Um, I feel like we we need to we need to be what we want. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What do you want? Do you want opportunity? All right. If you want opportunity, you got to give opportunity. Yeah. yeah. If you want good vibes, you got to give good vibes. Right. right? You want you got to give what you want in life. And um, if you want somebody to look after your daughter when she's walking away from you know home from school, yep. you got to look out for the the random ass kid that's walking down the street. You just yep. gotta as soon as you're you know going by, just make sure that everything's cool. Yeah. You know what I mean. Um, there's plenty of times where I'm like, I'm driving somewhere and I, I, if I see something shady, I'll go around the block a yeah. couple of times just to make sure everything's cool. Yeah. Um, and it's not to say that I'm going to be some fucking hero. It's just to say like, yo, at least I got that shit off my conscience. Because if I go in the house and I see on the fucking five o'clock news that there was something that went down in my neighborhood and I could have done Prevented something, remedy, yeah. Yeah. right? Helped somebody. Yeah. Then I, I need to. Yeah. It, it's it's crazy because what I do is like I, if I'm driving and I see like a sp- suspicious car, I don't know like I, I get a bad feeling. I take down their, their license plate snitch. and then well hey man no, like like, <laughs> what is, like you said <laughs> I didn't say a snitch. <laughs> Never mind, man. Yeah, <laughs> that, that never happened. I don't do that shit. Nah, but but like you hear like these Amber Alerts, you know? And they're like, hey, yeah. they have this vehicle going over. If I can have a, a license plate, yeah, shit, why not? Yeah, man, absolutely. I, I think uh, a lot of that comes from uh, my my best friend getting murdered. Man, I told yeah. you guys about Rosie. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't know, man. There's something about being a father, right? I don't want to feel that pain. Oh man, it yeah. Just no thinking way. about that shit makes me emotional. Like, that's my worst fear. Anything happening to my kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. And um, I think that if you can prevent it as fathers, as men, we need to. Shit, man. Definitely. One time uh, I took my kid out to California. and it was, when He was probably like three already, two years old. And... Uh, <clears throat> Both of them? Nah, just one and my oldest. And uh, what's it called? Uh, my wife didn't want to let me take him, right? She's like, no, no, he's still too little. I'm like, come on, you know, let me, I'm, I'm going to take him. Anyway, so we went out there, whatever, we went to the park. And I, I was with my cousins and everybody was there. And so we were at the by the playground. And I turned around and like, I bullshit, you know, five seconds, you know, nothing more. I turned back around to see him and, and to look for him and he wasn't there. Bro, my fucking heart. Like, I looked around. I couldn't find him. Man, bro, we, we were looking everywhere. He just, I guess, took off because he seen a dog. Like, you know. And, and yeah, bro, it, it was it was yeah. scariest shit of my life. I you was felt like, sick, huh? Fuck, you don't even know, man. No, you probably do know. I don't know if you ever that's dog, happened to you. I recently had this shit. My son, uh, 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 Amari. Yeah. So, this motherfucker can open doors now and shit. Deadbolts. Yeah. And so, like, we don't. We don't leave. We got to stay in the front room because this motherfucker will open that shit and run down the hall. That's his little son, bro. Yeah, man. That, that dude is crazy, man. Yeah, he, he is. He, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah, met him. Yeah, you yeah. met him. <laughs> yeah, we, we call him, you know, respectfully, I call him Chucky. <laughs> Chucky, bro. Like, literally, the little Mexican Chucky. Respectfully, bro. <laughs> the cute little nah, kid, he man. is. He is. He, he's, he's, he's a trip, man. He opens doors and he walks outside and... Yeah, he scared us one time. This dude, it was early <laughs> in the morning. Um, I'm already gone. My wife was there. She probably cut this out or something. <laughs> <laughs> but this dude, uh, you know, he was looking for me. He opened the door. You know, uh, it was locked, but it's the type that when you push it or you push it and then you can just open it. Yeah. Like it. it so uh, he did that and he walked out. He was calling for me, bro, and he uh, kind of went to the neighbor's house, and the neighbor tried to get him, and he's like, no. Like, you know how he, he yeah. was all mad, and he was all mad at him, and he came back to the house, and the dude was like, hey. And my wife was still sleeping. It was like, I want to say like 7.30 in the morning. I thought you were going to say like 10 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this was like early, bro. He woke up, and uh, yeah, she heard the dude was like, hey, is anybody home? So she got up and said, oh, my God. He goes, yeah, he was over here, and he didn't let me grab him and this and that. <laughs> yeah, bro. I was like, 
fuck, man. I need to, That's a yeah. trip. Bro. Yeah, That's man. Scary as fuck. That's scary. Um, I'm surprised this, she told you. I'm surprised too, because uh, I would have kept that a secret. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> did you have a ring doorbell at the time? Yeah, it went off, and you didn't see. Well, because usually when it goes off, I'm like, fuck, it's just the car, yeah, coming by or something, you know. <laughs> oh, man. And yeah, man, it was a trip. I was mad, but I didn't think I he was that it. tall. He could reach that. Yeah. Damn. He's taller than Fonzie. <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> Shut up, folks. Got yeah. more hair on his face, too. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> that's fucked up, dog. But yeah, maybe we cut that out, man. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man. You but made yeah. me work. <laughs> oh, my bad. Um, nah, you don't have. Does he? Yeah. Rewind. <laughs> nah, that's cool. Nah, that's cool. Fuck you. But yeah. He's it was, it down. <laughs> stressed out. Yeah, man. But, but I, like when I go to the stores, I make sure that they're not wandering off. Like I can see them. If yeah. They have to be. I, they know. They know. Like uh, my boy, he still struggles on that. He tries to run off. But my girls, they they know. Like hey, he's a baby. I have though. to see that. Yeah, yeah. He's he's very young. But it, it it's just it's a trip from uh, uh having a girl and boys. My daughter, my oldest, she picked it up fast. Like hey, you. That's a no no. You can't do that. If I can't see you. You know you better come back or I'm gonna come get you. You know yeah. like you had to stay close. And this dude, I tell him that, and he's like, okay. Doof, takes off. I'm like, hey, man. So I'm over there chasing him and stuff. But, but yeah, that's that's something that I, I feel is important for parents to kind of, I know I just said that, you know, this dude walked out, but. <laughs> nah, nah, no, but they, they have to keep an yeah, eye out, yeah. bro. It that's real life, bro. Yeah, man, yeah. These things are real life where yeah. your kid can wake up in the middle of the night and get out the bed and sleepwalk and bounce. Yep. Yeah. And that's that's terrifying too, you know yeah. what I mean? Like these are all real things, but I think that um I feel like the parents that that care not only about our own kids but like in general. Yeah. Um I I pray and I hope that they look out for my kids when I'm not there. Yeah. Because dad and mom can't be there 24/7, yeah. right? Um even down to like the teachers, right? I hope that they have a hell of a job, man. Fuck yeah. Watching fucking 20 plus kids yeah. daily. Making sure that they don't run off during I, recess. I went to go. Uh, uh, I told you, I think I went to you go chaperone. Yeah, chaperone uh, my kids is, bro, seven kids. That's too much. I got you know. I'll do it again, but I'm just saying, like, I don't know how these teachers do it. And then we're in the bus, and they're all screaming, singing songs and stuff. It's like, and it's not, it's not cool song. Like at least if they had a nice voice and shit, they'll be all right. They were all in, you know, in harmony. Wheels and, on the bus. Yeah, oh, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, exactly. Like that. <laughs> Shit, and you know, and, and then they start fucking repeating stuff like, um, what would they say? What would they say? Uh, uh, jazz or pizza? Jazz, pizza, jazz, pizza. And then another kid would be like, now, bus yellow, but you know, just ew. stupid. Yeah, yeah, some bullshit. He said ew. <laughs> yeah, I hate that word. What pus? No, bus. Oh, that you said pus. No, pus. <laughs> pus and yellow still go together. Yeah, yeah, pus. <laughs> yellow pus. Ew. It's nasty, Ew. man. Hey. Oh, no, nah, never mind. Go ahead. What? I was going to say, one time I, my, my, uh, I don't know what it was. She got stung by something. And uh, uh, my oldest daughter. Oh. And it was like on her shoulder right here. And I was like, what the hell is that? I'm like, hey, uh, it's like at first I'm like, it's just small, but it kept growing. After, you know, after. Uh, a couple of days went by, so I'm like, "Hey, I'm gonna have to pop it, you know, because yeah. it's white already." She's like, "All right," I'm like, "She's like, is it gonna hurt?" I'm like, "Nah, it shouldn't hurt." You a damn lie. But <laughs> I popped that shit, and it just kept gushing out. Ooh, yeah, yeah, I was like, but did it hurt? Like, yeah, she was screaming, bro. She was screaming. I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm sorry." So I put it like you know, God's she, over. She's trying to grab it and put it back <laughs> yeah. in. No, no, no. <laughs> nah, but I was like, "Damn!" But yeah, yeah, speaking about puss, that was. It was yellow. It was nasty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it was, though, man. I don't know if she got stung or what. A spider bite, probably. Probably, yeah. And spiders, man. Um, yeah. Before we get out of here, man, I know that uh, uh, you guys are a fan of games. Yeah. You want to play a game? Let's do it. What is this? <laughs> so this... <laughs> Let's see. What is it? So this is uh, a is game. It, is it going to fucking shock me? Cause yeah, fuck. this is a shocking game. Nah, fuck that. No, nah, come on. Oh, shit. It's, it's dead. It's dead. Yeah. Hell yeah. Woo. Did motherfuckers leave this shit on? Oh, no, we're good. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, son of All a right. bitch. So go ahead, Fonzie. Grab that, that, that one and then give that one to G-Daddy. So this is a game. It's a, it's a shocking game. But what we're looking for is we want to hit 
the um, when the light turns green on that that white button right there, we want to hit the button as soon as it turns green. If you hit it before, you'll get shocked. Is it is it a hard shock? You'll uh, wait and find out. Well, yeah, you'll find Fucking out. Son. Um, if you hit it too soon, you will get shocked. If you if you're the last one to get sh- uh to hit it when it turns green, you will get shocked. Okay. 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 Go ahead, hit that wall- Waldo, please. When it turns green. Yep. Fuck! I hate these games. <laughs> Damn. So how Damn. did you do that? Fuck this game. I pushed it when it went green. Nah, 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 nah. I promise you. Fuck this game. I ain't playing no more. Fuck that shit. Here, you grab it. Take that shit out of here. Come on, let's play again. Nah, fuck that shit. How'd you do it? You're good at this game. Uh, you played it before. Yeah, of course. Go ahead, grab that. Go ahead, bro. Nah, put that shit up. I ain't I ain't playing. Waldo, bro. grab it. All right, we're gonna do two. Hey, hold on. Let's let's make oh, okay, you got it? Fuck that shit! I don't like so that shit. So grab, grab that one. No, no, I ain't playing. No. Oh, you got, you got grab two. Yeah, no, grab no, just grab that one. Oh, oh, oh yeah, just that one. one. Back. I yep. was like, come on, man, he's Sin- trying to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> it goes by the song, huh? That's why you know. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I'm the champion. <laughs> you sure you don't want to play again, Fine? Nah, hell no. Hey, he, <laughs> you rigged it or something. How did I rig it? I don't know, man. Let me see that. <laughs> Damn. Oh, you got it to extreme, too. Extreme shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Hey, that. my dumbass was holding it off. Ah, <laughs> the first time. I was like, fuck. Yo, that's the first time I didn't get shocked. <laughs> For real? Yeah. That's yeah, a man. good little game, bro. I'm going to cool, go practice. <laughs> but I'll never play that shit ever again. <laughs> That shit, that shit hurt. <laughs> Remember those gums? What? Which one? You're like, hey, you want a gum? Oh, yeah, you you it oh, yeah. And it shocks snaps you? Yeah. Either sna- oh, snaps either snaps yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hated those. I remember the uh, the bad breath gum. You never seen that? It gives you bad breath? Hell nah. Yeah, it's like a juicy fruit, right? It's a trick gum. And then you put it in your mouth and makes your mouth go black and shit. And d- d- what the yeah, fuck? It makes your breath smell like fucking shit. Hell Ew. Nah. Yeah, hot topic. Oh, fuck Cir- that. Circa like 97. <laughs> Hell no, nah, that's fucked up. Hell I'll yeah. sue them motherfuckers. I'll when's be like, like, when's the last time you guys went to the mall? It's been a minute since Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Valley Fair? No. Which one? Fashion. Okay. Yeah, I don't go to Valley Fair. Why not? I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, check out Valley Fair, man. Have you been there since? The I've, I've been there, but but I don't go shopping. Like, I I went to go bowling at the uh, Pins and L's. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then uh, um, I went to go do something. I can't remember. Oh, they have the Zach, the screen protector yeah, shop yeah, there. Yeah. But yeah, I don't really go there. I don't like going there. I love it, man. Really? Yeah. It's just that man, the, they redid the whole it's shit. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's in, it's an incredible f- and uh you went to Pins and Nails, but have you went to All Star yet? Yeah, yeah. All Star Lanes, fucking gorgeous, man. Yeah. It's pretty cool that you can see the mall. Yeah. Like, yeah it's pretty the cool. way you can see that and then uh the, they have the virtual reality shit oh, that yeah. you can do oh, yeah. there. Yeah, the arcade. Um the reason why I bring that up is because um, I was talking to a friend of mine and they were, they were like, the mall's dead. And I was like, yeah, but no. It's a different culture now. Remember back in the 90s where you would go? That was the place to be. Yeah. Even in the early 2000s, yeah, you, yeah, went so yeah. you went to the mall. Yeah, You went to the mall to hang out. That's where you met your friends. Mm-hmm. That's where you spent your Saturday um, afternoon, evening, if you're going to a movie, yeah. Um, <laughs> you all right? Yeah, I'm fucking, I, I'm I, don't, I don't like that shit, bro. I can still feel that motherfucking shit. He said, I don't like that. That, that, that shit, you have an extreme, bro. That's fucked up. <laughs> I'm a beginner, bro. You should have had that normal, man. <laughs> yeah, work, yeah, work out your reflexes. Yeah, I know, shit, bro. I swear, I pushed that as I'm soon a, as it went green, man. But, but go ahead. Um, but yeah, man, I was just talking about the mall, man, and how it's uh, it's been so different. Well, but I, I think that we need, the, in order to change that culture you have to go to the mall yeah right yeah. and everybody has their mall. like when i first moved back to utah um it was um cottonwood mall uh cottonwood mall is not a thing no more oh it's down the street from your guys's uh, uh studio oh yeah, yeah. we're okay. okay there used to be a mall right there on the corner and they used to have fairs there in the front sometimes i know the it was like a jc penny's was the yep. biggest store yep. there right okay um uh, jc penny's and then moved to macy's I there was okay. a friday's right there Yep, TJ if I did, uh training table was right across the street. Mm-hmm. Um and then there was another Chinese restaurant uh named uh the Jade restaurant that was fire. Best fucking food. Apparently now why did it close down? Man, nobody happens. going. Yeah. Why did the mall why did the mall close? 
People stop man. going. You know what I mean? Like shit happens and but yeah, man. Um I don't know what brought that up, but my, my friend, my friend was talking about it and you want to go well, to the mall? It, it is. I mean, it was when I walked by. I was like, "There's nobody." Mm-hmm. I mean, I was like, "Damn." I mean, I, we used to go. I used to go, but like you said, we'd go hang out with friends and you know, to go fight. But that's why I don't <laughs> like going. Cause you used to fight at the mall. Yeah, I mean, we'd get into little scuffles and shit. It's like, yeah, I don't. I don't really? I don't want to do. I haven't with seen that a either. mall fight in forever. But that was what back in two thousand six, seven. I haven't seen a fight in forever. Good. When's the last time you seen a fight? Like in person? Last yeah. Saturday. Oh, uh, in person. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> last Saturday. <laughs> shit, I don't know, man. Uh, no, I haven't seen one in a minute. I feel like there was a good string when I would. Whenever I went to Walmart, I would see something go down. Something happened. Huh? But I, have, I haven't seen nothing recently. I can't mm. think of. Yeah, anything. man, I, I haven't seen any. Either. Which is a good thing, right? Yeah, yeah definitely. I'm not complaining. Bro. You, I mean, <laughs> I'm yeah. over here like shucks, man. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see a fight. <laughs> nah, yeah, I don't. I haven't seen one either. That's a great. Question. I seen. I. I Actually, I seen a, a a homeless dude fighting, but he was he was he was fighting you know somebody Himself? in his head. Oh, okay. He was like woo woo, and we're like oh shit! I'm like get him. He's like ah, he was you going were, harder. You, you were amping him up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> I mean, he looked Motivate like a box. Right? Yeah, I mean he. I, I didn't want him to lose. Are you guys a, Are you guys gonna have a skills challenge? With the the three on three, are we gonna have any extra uh, extra activities? I mean that that's a good question. Maybe we. I mean we haven't thought about that. Well, well, we well. Just I'm sorry. About the tournament. Re- re- repeat that again. Well, like I mentioned, like the around the world, yeah. right? Um, maybe a three point contest. You know what I mean? Um, maybe, um, maybe kids. Maybe you have some kids that want to play or something. Yeah. Something else I was thinking about. Um, listening to your podcast about like those glory days, right? Like. Wonder was talking about the glory days. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if anybody has put together a tournament for alumni. Yeah. Yeah. They ha- uh, actually, Trey does that every year. For, for different the, high schools? Oh, I don't know about different high schools, but. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh, like the, the alumni. Different high schools. Yeah. Oh, like the, the class of whatever, like 2005 to 2010, come and play the class of 2005 to 2010 of Cottonwood or Man. Murray or Hunter, right? Yeah, that would actually be a good idea to do that. I think it'll be dope. I, I think so. So we, what we want to do right now, I mean, we definitely that's a great idea, and we'll keep it in mind, and 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 hopefully we can make something work with just all of us, right? Um, but with this one, I think we we'll, we need to tackle this one first. Absolutely. And then after that, we're gonna, bro. The you know what I'm saying the sky's the limit, bro. I I, I we have a pr- bunch of ideas of what we want to go with them, but that was a good one. That that one that one would be like okay, a lot of people would come through and stuff. I'm pretty sure these old heads. They want to, you know, oh, hell yeah. show off that they still got it. Yeah, one thing that we used to have here, um, I don't know if you guys remember, we used to have the Turkey Bowl, which was West Valley um, versus Glendale, um, like Thanksgiving Day, right? And it would just be old, like old dudes that played high, uh, that played high school ball, come out and play um, flag football, or yeah, no, like play, yeah, play play football. Okay, um, and I think that that kind of like we have a culture here in Utah. That the high school high school sports is a big thing here. Yeah. Right. So if we gave an opportunity for some like some of these old school high school dudes to come back, relive it, and some of the people that want to come out and support and maybe make some um you know raise some money for something. Yeah. Right? yeah. Maybe raise some money for some youth programs that people can't really afford uniforms or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. I think that'd be dope. And maybe even that's what. The Lake Talk fucking three on three tournament can be well, and that's what we want to do. I mean, there's, there's definitely we want to have people come out and have fun and just vibe and and, and definitely show off their skills and whatever. Uh, I know that we're working hard to to you know uh, up our game. You know what I'm saying? Because we're gonna take this as serious as we can. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, at the end of the day, we're gonna have fun with it. Um, we're we're planning a, a, a few things. You know what I'm saying? Um, we want whoever enters, they're gonna have to you know of course pay. And uh, the money is going to be donated to uh, either the high school, basically, wherever, wherever uh, a high school. We don't know if we yeah. play at Cypress, it's going to be donated to Cypress. If we uh, play anywhere else, the money will still be donated, donated. to a school. Um, and then also um, we'll, we'll take some of that money, though, a little bit of that money and give it to the winners. And also they'll get a trophy. Um, so it, 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 we have uh, we have things running 
in line and, and what we're going to do. So it's, it should be dope, bro. And if you're the ref and you're talking shit, that's going to be even better. Nah, get, get me in wherever I fit in. No, no, no. You, well, wherever you I want. I could DJ. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's true. And, I could DJ. And, you know. I could MC and DJ. Too, yeah. yeah. Be fun. Be dope. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep it family friendly. Hell, you have to. I mean, you, have to. you don't have to. No, why not? If it's in a high school gym, yeah. Does it? It has to be. I think you have to, right? I mean, I think I say. I mean, you're not gonna go off and say like some about weird this ass motherfucker. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do that. Yeah, no. Nah. Are you gonna wear a, a headband? I'm not. I'm not. Are you? Ah, uh, no. Nah. Why? Well, what's up with headbands? You you like? I'm, them? I'm just wondering. Oh no, nah, no. Nah. I'm gonna wear that sleeve though. I always want to wear, wear that. Helen Everson hey, sleeve. Up. Yep. I'm gonna wear that one. Are you guys gonna have the Lake Talk fucking jersey? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Uh, if we're gonna Definitely. do that, yeah, we have to represent, baby. That's dope, man. Yeah, we'll give you one too. But then I'm gonna be showing bias, man. Why? I know I'm the fourth member, but who cares? I can't be showing bias if yeah, I'm there. Yeah, that because you're part of that uh, of of the group, bro. Who's gonna get mad? Who's gonna get mad? Who's gonna tell you something? I don't know. Let us know. We'll yeah, we'll handle that. <laughs> Take a basketball game. Hell yeah, bro. I'll be biting b- ankles and shit. <laughs> hey, be careful. His, his teeth are sharp. <laughs> Hold me back. <laughs> Hold me back. Dog. I'm down, bro. It's just great, dog. <laughs> um, I know you guys are, are heading over to the gym, man. So we'll we'll get out of here. Um, what's the socials? What's the uh, the uh, social media that we can? I know you said YouTube is coming. You yeah, like, YouTube, Yo. YouTube is coming on a hundredth episode. You could expect that. Uh, we're gonna drop all all the video content that we have for all the episodes. So, what's up with the one with uh, Maya? <laughs> <laughs> that was coming too, bro. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll drop. I'll drop that one soon, man. Well, we can get the nut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck no. Damn. Pause, motherfucker. Pause. pause. <laughs> nah. So, uh, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's coming. The that one memos. Uh, the G Daddy Funks sure, interview. Man. That's just funny. <laughs> fuck too. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, yeah, it's coming, bro. But uh, uh, what what what'd you ask before? Before the, the handles. Oh, the handles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you could catch me at uh, Fonzie SP three one zero. That's my Instagram. My personal. No, well, it's just yeah, whatever. That's my Instagram, and then uh, the Lake Talk eight hundred one. San uh, Pedro. Yeah, yeah. Fonzie. Well, San isn't Pedro. it about time to change that? Well, that's why I have the Lake Talk eight hundred one, and then I have Basement Productions as well. Uh, you could catch me on that one, Basement Productions eight hundred one. Um, you can catch him outside too. And catch me outside, catch his hands, <laughs> which they won't do shit to you. Don't do that. <laughs> catch his hands. <laughs> hey, oh, Rob, Rob, get your mans, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Nah. G- oh uh, yeah, no, it's just the Lake Talk eight hundred one. Yeah, yeah, on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and uh, what else? That's, That's it for it. now YouTube. And YouTube. Oh, On YouTube yeah, The YouTube. Lake Talk 801 Hey did you change that by the yeah, way Yeah I did okay. change it I did change it So make sure Go check out the uh, the YouTube um, Coastline Shout out to Coastline Oh yeah shout out to Coastline uh, the, Their sweater um, Shout out to No Easy What up Noe The wave you gonna ride Hey Is it the, is it the wave you gonna ride Yeah Okay Yeah. yeah. Sure. No you're right Nathaniel don't get mad at me <laughs> yeah. Is he coming out here anytime soon uh, I'm not sure I don't know I haven't talked to him for a minute yeah. But he's doing good out there You know He dropped another song didn't he Yeah Okay. Did you I ever hear it? Song. No, I haven't. I'll, I'll send it to you. Cool. But yeah, yeah, yeah. He dropped another song. Awesome. Yeah. Um, you guys know what the deal is. Allrock.com, A L L R A W K. Um, my man Waldo, he sent me this uh this uh flyer. Waldo, am I okay to say what's going on with this? Wendover. So the uh the first annual 44 Lake Effect Car Show is going down in Wendover May 13th and uh May 14th. The uh, the 13th is the cruise, the 14th is the car show. Um they'll be over there at the Nugget. Is it the Nugget? Yeah, they'll be in front of the Nugget. Um I told him that's the old people casino. <laughs> Wait, it's, the Nugget uh that's Martigo Bay. It's in, one of the two. In Wendover, right? Yeah. Don't they have like the breakfast there or the it's bomb. We went there. Oh, that you're one talking time. about the buffet? Is it? I don't know. Montego Bay. Uh, yeah, I think it's in the oh. Nugget. It's either the Nugget or Martigo Bay. One of them has a really good buffet. And if they mention the car show, they will just send an email. There you go. Yeah. If they if you mention the, the, the car show at Wendover at the Nugget, you get a discount on your room. So make sure you mention 44 Lake Effect Car Show Damn. when you go to the Nugget. And uh, mention Waldo. He might show up in a Speedo. Hey. Damn. I ain't going. No, <laughs> he's not like, no, no, no. I won't show up. Waldo used to be a male stripper. Nah, for real, bro? You serious? They called him Canelo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I th- he, see, he was playing it out like, yeah, I was. He, he said that shit like, oh, serious, I was. Shit. Yeah. All right, bro, you should keep going with that. Yeah, bro. 
Um, cool, man. Well, I appreciate Hello, you ladies. guys. <laughs> Valvinas. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you guys coming through, no, man. No, we appreciate you, yeah, bro. Thank you. Thank you, Dre. We out. Peace. We out. <laughs> Thank you.